live this afternoon at the Duster Dome. Some grade school action. The girls are taking on the visiting Hooker Lady Bulldogs. That 55's handling the jump, and Beaver will win the jump. No programs available this evening. I apologize. Like that one goes out of bounds over by Hooker's bench. Last touch by the Lady Dogs. In it comes. Top of the key now. <clears throat> oh, went to work it on the near side wing, and it is stolen away. Nice defense by the Lady Dusters. Kept the shot from going in. Rebound. Went to the floor, and all kinds of hustle went on, and the Lady Dusters come away with it. Take it to the far side, working it into the lane. She drives to the baseline. Shot is up. Oh, too strong and over the top. Rebound, Bulldogs. Pass across the lane. Shot's up. She gets that one to go. Lady Bulldogs up 2 nothing. 4.05 left to play right here in the first. Lady Duster's working through the far side. She's going to drive all the way down the baseline. Works it into the lane. Lots of defensive traffic down there. Ball goes loose. Last touch to Lady Dusters. Turnover to the Bulldogs. First day back after Christmas break. We'll get right into basketball action here. Lady Bulldogs try to work it in the lane. Stolen away by number 55 of the Lady Dusters. Work it into the lane. Shots up. Just not quite right. Battle for the rebound. Ends up in the Lady Bulldogs' hands. Work it in, shot blocked. Rebound to the Bulldogs, shots up, and they get it to fall. Extends their lead, four nothing, just under three to play in the first. Lady Duster's trying to work it in. Oh, pass was over the top. Picked up by the Lady Bulldogs. Rebound and put back is good. Lady Duster's bringing it across one more time. Goes to the outside, drives to the baseline, shots up. She is fouled. Got her on the arm. She'll get to go to the free throw line and shoot two. Oh, just off. Second shot's away, just off the front of the rim, rebound by zero of the Lady Dogs. They get it across midcourt. Top of the key. <clears throat> Looking to work it inside, covered up. Oh, she got by her man. Shot is blocked by number 55. Rebound to the Lady Dusters. Oh. Just didn't quite catch that pass. Too strong, out of bounds it goes. That'll be Lady Bulldog ball.
through her legs. Out of bounds it went. That is Lady Duster ball. Trying to get it down to the baseline. Got stopped. Pass intercepted. Now we're back on the Bulldogs end of the court. Zero shoots from 16 foot out there. No good. Rebound by 55 Lady Dusters. 12 takes it to the right. Oh, in and out of the hands of McLemore and out of bounds it goes. That will be Bulldog ball. 47 seconds to go here in the first. Need to make something happen. Let's get a defensive steal. Get it back hard on our end of the floor. There it is. Just like I wanted. And it's in. Nice left-handed layup put in there by McLemore. Bulldogs get it across. Pass tipped away and intercepted by the Lady Dusters. 18 seconds to go. All right, backside block, wide open, in it goes. Number 43, Lady Dusters. Cuts the Bulldogs lead to two. The ball stolen and out of time it is. That'll do it for the first quarter, folks. Lady Dusters end of quarter rally there. Now trailing only four to six. Start things off in the second period. We'll be right back. Wouldn't it be great if you could carry your bank with you everywhere? With mobile banking and digital wallet from the Bank of Beaver City, you can conduct most daily transactions like paying bills and making transfers from an app on your mobile device. Use a digital wallet on your mobile device to pay without handling cash or a card. If you need to see us, of course, we're always here with fast, friendly service in person, offering a variety of accounts and services, complete with a smile and a handshake. The Bank of Beaver City and Beaver and Liberal, come join our banking family. Hooker got to start off with the ball. Shot and rebound by the Bulldogs. The second shot, no good. Rebound by the Lady Dusters. Got a new set of girls in, looks like. That is a double dribble, turnover. Lady Dogs will throw it in right at their own bench. Tries to drive the lane, shut down by the Lady Dusters, but she dished it off. Shot from 10 foot out, drops it right in. The lead increases back to four points. Lady Dusters get it back outside, working around top of the key. It's tipped away. Lady Bulldogs driving to the baseline, kick it back up toward the short corner, and shot from the free throw line, no good. Last touch by the Lady Dogs. Lady 
Maybe Desters will bring it up the floor. Crossed over at the far side. Oh, the pass was a little out of alignment and intercepted by the Lady Bulldogs. Rebound by the Bulldogs. Nope. Out of bounds it goes. Last touch, blue. Gold ball. Lady Dusters get it across, and it is stolen away. Number five hustles around, shuts her down, but she still is able to sink it in from the block. Looks 44 is going to bring it up another time. Cuts right to the top of the key, pass is blocked. Ends up in the hands of the Lady Dogs. Baseline, shot too strong, over the top, rebound Bulldogs, no good. Number five crashes in there to try to get that rebound. Ball's tipped away. Last touch, last touch blue, it is gold ball. 12 inbounds, it gets a 53. Crosses over. Cuts back to the free throw line. Lots of defense there. Lady Desters kick it back out, top of the key. Trying to reset the offense, get something going here. Nice screen, 53 drives to baseline. Shots up, over the top, rebound 43. Too strong, over the top. Rebounded by 55. She was all covered up, they kick it out. Now shot. Oh, just short. Rebound gets all tied up. Jump ball. Possession will go back to the Lady Dusters. Oh, excuse me. I read the error wrong. We must have forgot to switch it. Lady Dester's press is slowing him down. Out of bounds it goes. Last touch gold. It is blue ball. Timeout is taken. We'll be right back. Lady Dogs inbound it there, They're working down to the baseline. <clears throat> it's knocked out of bounds by the Lady Dusters. Try to work it to the backside block, and it's knocked out of bounds by number 43, the Lady Dusters.
Inbound it, shots up, no good. Long rebound taken by the Lady Dusters. Oh, didn't quite get the friendly roll, but she just steals the rebound back. Goes to the floor, that is jump ball. Coach Weaver tried to get the timeout called, but officials weren't quite paying attention. Inbound play, tipped out of bounds by the Bulldogs. Another one tipped right out of bounds by the Lady Bulldogs. Lady Bulldogs work it down there into the floor. Near side wing worked it into the free throw line. She's gonna drive around the left side. Shots up too much over the top. Rebound 55. And it is tied up. Jump ball. Possession arrow keep it on this end of the court. The Lady Dogs will have another attempt. Had a shot, but there was a foul on the play. Shots on 55, the Lady Dusters. Foul, excuse me, the foul. First shot. Off the back of the iron, no good. Substitute coming in here for Lady Dusters. Second shot, we'll play this one off the release. There it goes. Tried to use the backboard, too much. Rebounded by the Lady Dusters. They work it up the floor, coming to the near side. Kick it back out, working around top of the key. Get it to the far side. Loose ball picked up by 55. They'll work it back into her. Drives the baseline. Shots up. Knocked out of bounds by the Bulldogs. Shots up. No good. Battle for the rebound, and the Lady Dogs come away with it. 32 seconds left here in the half. Shots up, gets it to go. Working it around, trying to find that shot. Shot taken. 2.1 left on the clock. Shots up, knocks it in off the glass. Second shot's away. Didn't quite get it to go. Ball's loose on the floor. And that'll do it for the first half.
Lady Dusters came within two, and now the Bulldogs have extended their lead 12 to five as we finish off action in the first half. Halftime, and I'll be back.
halftime, fifth quarter, fifth quarter action was interesting. Now we're back live in the game. Oh, the pass went a little bit wide. Out of bounds it goes. Turnover, it'll be Bulldog ball. Oh, they advance the ball up the floor, find a lady open to the baseline, but she works it back out. Drives into the lane, shots up, just off to the right, no good. Rebound by Lady Dusters, number 12, come away with it, gets it to 55. She heads up the floor, works into the lane, shots up, short off the front of the rim. Rebound Dusters, 54 came away with that one. Back in the hands, number 12. Oh, pass tipped out of bounds, I think last touched by the Bulldogs. Working it around the top. Ball got loose. Lady Dogs end up with it. There we go, stolen away by the Lady Dusters. Lady Dogs cut right in front of her and she picked up her dribble and took an extra step. Call with the travel. Bulldogs are gonna inbound it on the near side of the timeline. Long pass down the floor. Lady Dusters rally. Bulldogs got a shot off, but 43 comes away with the rebound. Gets it to 53, she's gonna bring it up the floor. We're gonna pass in the free throw line. Drives down toward the block, shots up, no good. Last touch blue, gold ball. Inbound goes to 43. Four side wing. 55 top of the key. Now we're in number 12. Comes back across to the near side. Number five. 53 top of the key. Get it into 55 with the free throw line. Heads in, shoots, no good, but draws the foul. She get to go to the free throw line. I believe shooting two. And then timeout is called. So a full timeout called. When we come back, we'll be at the free throw line. All right, we're back. 55 is going to shoot two free throws here. Yeah. 
No good. She does get her own rebound. Put back. She drops it in off the glass. Great second effort there. Lady Dusters pull within six. Lady Bulldogs, a couple skip passes right on up the floor, work it down low. She got it to go. Lady Dusters working on the far side of the floor, top of the key now. Oh, pass was just a little bit wide. Couldn't hang on without stepping out of bounds. That will be Lady Dog, Lady Dog's ball. Lady Bulldogs taking advantage of this long down the court passes and got another one to go down low. Got called for a travel there. Picked the foot up, slid the other one. Lady Duster ball. Pass is stolen away. Up the floor she goes, gets it to go. It counts, and she fouled her on the shot to boot. So we will go to the free throw line and shoot some and one action. No good on the shot there. Oh, but the ball is stolen away again. Lady Duster's playing a extra aggressive on the press there. Working around, now they try to dribble on in. Oh, pivoted one way and then picked it up, pivoted the other, that is definitely a travel. Ball stolen away again, number 43, shot by 54, oh, no good. Long rebound, picked up by the Bulldogs. Covered up there, Lady District defense. Long shot, short off the front of the rim. That will be a jump ball. Position error favors the Lady Dusters. Lady Dusters bringing it up the floor, go to the far side, come back to the key. Shot taken from three-point land, no good. Rebound, Lady Dusters. Ball goes to the floor, tied up. Jump ball, this time it'll go to the Lady Bulldogs. Lady Bulldogs trying to get it in. There's 10 seconds to go here in the third. Shots up, no good. Rebound by the Lady Dusters. And try to, oh, and then it gets tied up.
Number three for the Bulldogs gets called for a foul. Did a little reaching there. They get it in. Oh, time will elapse. That does it for the third quarter. Lady Duster still trailing 10 to 18. We'll be back for the fourth quarter in just a moment. Duster's traveling right down baseline, realizes she's too far underneath. Works it across the lane to number 55. Shots up and over the top. Lady Bulldogs, block shot by the Dusters. They shoot from 10 foot out, no good. Rebound. No good, but there was a foul call. Foul was on 55. Pass got away from him and is intercepted by the Lady Bulldogs. <laughs> Lady Duster's working up the far side of the floor. Now she's trapped. Oh, the ball does get into the hands of number 53. Works it across the 12. She's going to work it up the near side. Ball goes to the floor, it is tied up, jump ball. Lady Dusters will inbound it here. A little bit of confusion at the timetable. Officials are headed over to clear it up.
Ball goes to the floor, 12, she gets after it there. It's finally jumped up or tied up for a jump ball. Major Duster's bringing it up the floor now. Stalled out top of the key, work, to the, work it to the far side. She's gonna come back. Back to the near side of the floor. Pardon me. Lady Duster's shot. They do come away with their own rebound. 55 takes it to the hole. Oh, the friendly roll does not work in her favor. But it is Lady Duster ball here. 219 to play in the fourth. Oh, the inbound is stolen away by the Dusters. Number 12 tries to tie it up for the jump ball. Ends up with the reach call. Long pass back, and it is knocked out of bounds by number 55 of the Dusters. Still Bulldog ball. Bulldog coach calling for a timeout and gets it. 30 second timeout, we'll be right back. Two fourteen to play, just coming off a thirty second timeout by the Bulldogs. Coach Weaver's got the girls set up to prevent that long pass from happening to the back door. Oh, but then there it is, backside was open. Lady Dogs drive to the baseline, kick it back out. Shot from 18 is good to go. 21-10 is the score, Lady Dogs on top. Knocked out of bounds by the Bulldogs. That'll be gold ball right at their own bench. Inbound to 55, kick it back to 12. Tries to work it to the bottom of the lane, number 43. Battle for the pass, ends up being tied up for a jump ball. Possession error will keep it with the Dusters. And Coach Weaver calls a timeout, and we'll be right back.
With Lady Desters inbound from the timeline on the near side. Work it in, covered up. <clears throat> Get it inside to 55. Shots too strong. Hard off the glass. 54 got the rebound. And then she fell over. Gets called for the travel. Shots up and in. Nice shot about 12, 15 foot out. Baseline shot. The dribble got away from her and I believe she got called for the carry. Inbound the ball, get it to 54. She gets it back to 24. Driving in baseline side. Shots up, 54. Rebound by the dogs. Nice defensive pressure, but the Lady Dogs are able to go ahead and get it across. 20 dribbles into the hole. Shots blocked by 55, but I think she got her on the arm. she go to the line and shoot two. That's third foul on 55. <laughs> Substitutions coming in for the Lady Dusters. Lane violation was called as she went over the line shooting that shot. Vesters hustle it right on across, go to the far side. Tried to dribble through the defense, to the ground they went. 22 is going to get called for the block. It's only the fourth foul on the des on the Lady Bulldogs, so still three away from the bonus. Get it to 55, drives the baseline, shots up from the block, no good. Rebound by 12 of the Lady Dusters. Got it back to 55. Oh. Number 12 is not afraid to get in there and grab a hold of that ball, tie it up. Jump ball will stay with the Lady Dusters. Work it into 55, backside block, shots no good. Rebound ends up in the hands of the Lady Bulldogs. We are under 10 seconds of play here. Shots up, that'll be the fourth foul on number 55. First shot is off to the left, no good. <clears throat> Playing live off the release here on the second. Short again off the front of the iron. 53 is able to save it, but nobody there to pick it up. Out of bounds it goes on the near sideline. Lady Dogs will inbound it there. 
55 was able to tip it away, but time expired, and that'll do it for this one. Nice effort by the Lady Dusters. Lots of determination, hustle, but just couldn't quite get enough points on the board to come out on top. 21-12, we'll have a slight intermission, and we'll be starting the fifth and sixth boys game in a bit.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Here we are, game two this evening, the fifth and sixth grade boys game. Investors will win the tip. Working around the far side, looks like. Baseline drive to the bucket, shots up and in for two. Bulldogs, long pass over the top, get it down there. It's stolen away by the Dusters. They get it to Hampton, looks like he's gonna handle it coming across. Comes to the near side of the floor, working it down low, oh! Looks like that was off of Blue's foot. Out of bounds it went. Had a loose ball on the floor, it looked like. Hampton to inbound the ball. Last touch by the Bulldogs, so it'll be Duster Ball there. Look, Hampton's going to inbound it again. Working it in there. Looks like they're going to head top of the key, coming around the far side. Bring it back up top. Working it down low to Westenhaver. Shots up and in for two. Dusters extending their lead for nothing over the Bulldogs. Pass is stolen away again. Number 40. Down low. Shots up. Over the top, too strong. Rebound. The putback is good. Number 42. Ball is tipped and stolen away by Hampton. Takes it to the hole. Puts it in for two. Timeout is called by the Bulldogs. Coach Reese wants to get these guys lined out before this gets out of hand. And we'll be right back. Wouldn't it be great if you could carry your bank with you everywhere? With mobile banking and digital wallet from the Bank of Beaver City, you can conduct most daily transactions like paying bills and making transfers from an app on your mobile device. Use a digital wallet on your mobile device to pay without handling cash or a card. If you need to see us, of course, we're always here with fast, friendly service in person, offering a variety of accounts and services, complete with a smile and a handshake. The Bank of Beaver City and Beaver and Liberal, come join our banking family. Bulldogs working in. And Duster Press is pretty tough, though, and they steal it away again. Oh. The dribble got away from him and picked up by the Bulldogs. Out of bounds it goes. Last touch, White. Twenty-one inbounds it. 35 drives toward the baseline. Working around that Duster defense. Steals it away one more time. Works it down to 42. He's on the three point line, far side wing. Hampton drives to the hole, puts it up and in for two. Duster Press working those Bulldogs pretty tough. Stolen away one more time. Duster's got it on the far side. Drives into the lane. Kicks it down low to Westenhaver. Shot's no good. Rebound ends up in the hands of the Dusters. Shot too strong over the top. Rebound Westenhaver. 
Like I said, I do not have a program, and being the first game back, I am not remembering everybody's names. I apologize for that. Like some of them got haircuts over the break. They don't look quite the same as they did before. I apologize. Worked it down to the baseline. Shots up. No good. Rebound by the Dusters. And working it hard, pretty hard, down low at the baseline. Now they've kicked it back out, far side wing. Couldn't quite keep a hold of the pass. Work it down low. Now back up top of the key, swinging it to the far side. Bulldogs finally steal it away. Shot from three, no good. Push on the rebound. First foul on the Dusters, number 40 is going to get credited for that one. Hampton with the save, eventually ends up in the hands of the Dusters. To the hole they go, put it in for two on the left side. That Duster Press is working over those the Bulldogs this afternoon. Bulldogs get it across, work it down to the block. Oh. Four two's gonna get called with the foul. Didn't look like he was that close from this angle, but I'll take the official's word for it. Bulldogs gonna inbound it down there on the near side. Dusters keeping them covered up. They do work it into the big man in the lane. Turns, covered up, shoots, no good. 42 with the rebound. 13 seconds to go here. Rocket pass into the lane. Tipped away by the Bulldogs. And that'll do it for the first quarter. Dusters on top, 14-0. Starting things back from break on a good note here. We'll see if they can continue the momentum through the rest of the game. We'll be right back. All right, 
Possession error does favor the Bulldogs to start things off here in the second quarter. I'm going to work it down to the baseline. Come back out. And they do find a man open at the top of the key. Shot for three, and he gets it to go. Tried that same shot earlier today. That must be his favorite spot. Oh, in and out of the hands, bobbled the pass, kick it back out to 40. Now 42, curls across the lane. Now they work it to Hampton back up on top. Now they find 50 down low. Weston Haver puts in two more. Bulldogs end up with it in the corner. Drive baseline under the bucket. Shot too far under. <clears throat> Found the bottom of the rim. Dusters end up with the rebound. Work it into the free throw line. Looking for the man down low. It was covered up this time. 35 got his hand on the pass and able to steal it away. Hampton with nice hustle steals it right back. Another far side wing, kick it back to Hampton, top of the key. Puts on the line, no good. Last touch, Dusters, that'll be Bulldog ball. Thirty-five going to bring it across for the Bulldogs. He's going to drive on into the lane, pulls up, shot from eight, drops it in for two. They get it to Hampton to bring across. Works it down low to Perry, shots up, too strong. Off the back of the iron, no good. 42, 10 foot out, drops it in. Kicks it back on the far side. <clears throat> Tries to work it to his man down low. Ran out of real estate. Swing pass to the far side. Drives on into the block and sinks it. Bulldogs work it down to the block, get covered up by the dusters. The 42 is able to steal it away. Feed the ball back to Hampton, and he's going to bring it on across. Swing it to the far side of the floor. Bobbled the pass, was able to recover, gets it to 42 in the corner. He drives baseline. Shot from 10 foot out, too much. Over the top it goes. 35 gets his hands in there and ties it up. Jump ball. Possession will stay with the Dusters here. Hampton set to inbound. He's called the play. Here we go. Now they work at top of the key. Thirteen's got it down in the corner. Works to Perry at the block. Kicks it right back to 42, too much on it. In and out it was. 40 comes away with the rebound. Yeah. 
And we're gonna call him for over the back or push or something. Foul was on number 40. That's his second. He drove to the hole, a little alley, a little oopty doop there. Didn't work out for him. Rebound by the Dusters. Works to 13 on the near side. Back to Hampton up top of the key. Swinging around to 40. He'll work it to 42. Oh, that will be a foul. Oh, that's what we call the good old body check down low there. Oh, short in front of the iron. No good. Forty two, second shot. Oh, round it went, no good. <clears throat> Dusters with the rebound. They get it to Perry, shot from the block, no good. Hampton fights for the rebound. He gets tied up. Jump ball. This time it'll go to the Bulldogs. 12 seconds to go here in the second quarter. This will be about all she wrote for the first half right here. Five seconds. Stolen away by the Dusters. That'll do it. Time expires. Looks like the Dusters are headed to the locker room, so we get a fifth quarter, maybe be after the game. Oh, I see Coach McDonald said, oh, yeah, yeah, I'll get him back out here. Yeah, here we go with the fifth quarter. This is not regulation play. And we do it in between games just to speed up the process. But this is a fifth quarter. It allows the B team some time on the floor. I do not commentate, but uh, our main man, Hunter Hampton, over here running the camera is going to keep you in view to catch all this fifth quarter action. And we'll be back for the second half after this.
Well, nice intermission quarter there by the B teams. Congratulations to those guys. Played well. Back to A team live regulation play here to kick things off in the third quarter. Possession will go to the Dusters. Get it to 13, he's gonna bring it on up. Looking for a man inside, works to 42, now down low to 50. Shot no good, got his own rebound. And then 10 for the Bulldogs, able to come away with it. Hampton got his hands on it, ends up with the ball. Got it to 40, now back to Hampton. We're gonna down low, Weston Haver, he's uh, shoots, no good, 42 with the rebound, drops his put back in for two. Like I said, they didn't put any programs out tonight, so I apologize for not remembering everybody's name. Thirteen gets it back, gets it back to Hampton to bring on a cross. They're working to the near side. Forty's got it down on the baseline. Tried to work it inside, and it got away from him. Thirty-five for the dogs is bringing it on up the floor down the far side. Got shut down by forty-two. Now they work it up to ten. Near top of the key. He's going to back up now. Stolen away, and now Hampton's going to bring it across for the Dusters. We'll skip pass over to the near side, 13. 42's got it. Works to Hampton on the back side. 42 in the lane, kicks it back out. Back in, shots up, no good. I thought I saw a hand on it there. Ground 54 will get credited with that foul. We'll be shooting two here. That was the first foul of the half. Second foul on 54. <clears throat> first one is in. Duster's now up by 18 early in this third quarter. Drops that second one in as well. Oh, off a shoe. I think that was actually off a of two's foot. Maybe I missed something. <laughs> 35 will inbound the ball. Gets it number 10 in the backcourt. He goes ahead and brings it on across. Screen. He's going to drive left. Coming back to the right. Shots up and blocked by number 42. Hampton ends up with the rebound. Forty swings it back to the top of the key for Hampton. Looking for Weston Haver down low. Just not enough on it. Bulldogs end up with the rebound. Shots away, no good. Dusters did a little bit of friendly fire for that rebound. Out of bounds it goes, and it'll be back to Bulldog Ball. They've got it on the baseline on the far side under the goal. So 
Lots of screening across there by the Bulldogs. They try to work it in. The ball goes to the floor. Picked up by 42 of the Dusters. Long pass down to the down low. Oh no, just didn't quite get that one to go. 35 will get it to number 10, and he's going to bring it right on across. Working right through that lane. Shots up, no good. 42 picks up that rebound. And 40's going to bring it on up the near side. Goes crosses back over top of the key. Gets it in to 42. Hampton's found it on the far side. Down to the block, pass bobbled to Perry, in and around and into the hands of the dogs it goes. We got a minute 15 to play here in the third. Duster's defense proving solid here. Tried to work it down to the block, about stolen away. Got away from him and out of bounds it goes. Bulldog ball, baseline, far side. Nobody cuts away from the bucket. Ten drives in the lane, shots up, and gets it to rattle around and fall in. Inbound it to Hampton, and he's going to bring it across with 48 seconds to go here. They work it down to the baseline, 42, puts it up, in and out, gets his rebound, put back no good. 21, he gets it for the dogs. They get the ball to uh, 10, and he's going to bring it on across. Drives to the right into a host of dusters there on defense. Miscommunication on the pass. Out of bounds it went. Inbound the ball, they work it back to Hampton, and he's bringing it across this time, 14 seconds on the clock. Zips it to 40, top of the key, drives to his right, looks back, goes left to Hampton. He sees 42 down on the block, not enough. Rebounds, kicks it back out, shot by 13. Not quite enough off the front of the iron, it goes. No good. That'll do it for the third quarter. We're coming right back. Duster's up 24 to seven over the Bulldogs. We've got one quarter yet to play. And we'll be right back. Bulldogs will get to start the fourth quarter with the ball.
They work it to 10 in the backcourt. He brings it on across, goes to the right. Job from about 10 foot out, no good. Rebound by 42 of the Dusters. He works it to 13 out on the edge. Long pass to Perry down at the block. Shots up and he gets it to go. That's the most fundamentally sound shot, but it was fun to watch. Stolen away, 42 ends up with it in the lane. Gets it to 40 and he's gonna bring it up the near side. Skip Brass down to Perry again from the block. Use the glass that time. Couldn't get it to go. 42 with the rebound, kicks it out. Hampton's got it at the free throw line, works to 13, now back to Hampton. Oh, Perry down at the block. Too strong, too much on that one, too high on the glass, no good. Fight for the rebound, ends up in jump ball. Possession goes to the Dusters. Substitutes coming in for the Bulldogs. Oh, easy shot from the block, no good. Rebound, same situation. They do tie it up, get the jump ball. This time it will be Bulldog ball. Inbound at number 10, and he's going to bring it on across. Shot from eight, no good. Rebound ends up in the hands of the Dusters. They work it to Hampton, and he's going to bring it on across. Pass into Perry, shoots from 10 foot out, drops that one in. Looks like 10 will bring it up the far side once again. Comes back to the left, shot from the free throw line, no good. 42 for the Dusters with the rebound. Pass too strong. This one and that one, and it ends up going off a of 42's foot, out of bounds, Bulldog ball. Putting a quick halt on the game for a shoe, shoelace repair. Ten's going to take it up the far side of the floor. Comes back left. Pushing his way down into the lane. Now he's going to shoot. Blocked. Rebound by 42. 40 going to bring it across. It's back to his left. Gets it to Hampton now. Hampton drives left. Back to 13. Back to Hampton. Oh, working it on the near side. To the hole he goes. Too strong. Up and over the top. 13's got it top of the key now. Works it back down to 42. Westenhaver from 12, no good. 42 with the rebound, put back. He gets it to go. Ten working it up the far side of the floor. Hampton keeping him honest. Now 11, he drives baseline, works it across the 32, back up to 10, near side wing, inside to 35, covered up by the Duster defense, he does get a shot off, I believe he's going to go ahead and get the foul drawn, on 40. 
That is fourth already? Just his third. I was hoping I was thinking there was an extra one in there. 40 with three, first foul for the half for the Dusters. Minute 32 to go here in the fourth. First free throw, no good. He'll recalibrate and shoot again. Just off to the right, no good. Rebound goes to number 40 of the Dusters. Cheats to the right side of the floor, goes back to Hampton, top of the key. Now we work it inside to 42, little layup, good to go. Pulls the Dusters up 32 to seven with a minute 10 to play here. Hampton bobbled the ball and we end up with a steal. 40 brings it across, gets it back to Hampton, top of the key. Now we're swinging it back to the near side of the floor, working it down low, 42, up and in. Coach McDonald calls a timeout. 50 seconds to go here in the fourth. Inbound to 10, he'll come across uncontested. He picked up about the three point line. Stalled out at the free throw line. Stolen away by the Dusters, number three. Top of the key, now we get it to the far side, number 53. The ball's stolen away, but Perry battles it back and gets it back to the Dusters. They work it back to Perry. Drug a foot, number three, slid a foot too much. Gets called for the travel. 17 seconds to go here. Got another shoe tie repair out here on the floor. Two brings it across this trip. He goes to the right, sneaks through that duster defense, shot no good. Rebound Westenhaver. Stolen away by number two of the Bulldogs. That'll do it, folks. Duster's on top, 34 to seven. Valiant effort by these fifth and sixth grade boys. We'll go ahead and get them the big W this evening. We've got seventh and eighth grade girls action coming up next as game three is set to begin in 10 minutes. And one more time, the Dusters will be taking on the visiting Bulldogs. We'll be back.
ladies and gentlemen, here we are. Game number three, junior high girls action. And the Lady Dusters won the tip off. The ball kind of got loose there, but we were able to pick it back up and get after it. Cash now has it, top of the key. On a bulldog, come right out of her shoes there. Equipment malfunction, flat tire style. Looks like Hampton's gonna inbound it over there, right in front of the bulldog bench. Oh, the ball got away from her. Fighting for that ball down low. Oh, and the ball stolen away. Oh, Cash missed the shot on the right side. Rebound goes to the floor, tied it up, jump ball. Bulldogs will get to possession. Come screaming to the corner there. That will be Duster ball here. Hampton comes to inbound it here. Dribbled right down to the baseline, just about got away from her. Get it back to Cash. Line, back to Cash. I think the girls are still trying to establish a little bit of a rhythm there. Pass a little bit wide out of the reach of Hampton. Out of bounds it goes. That'll be Lady Bulldog ball. Lady Duster still lining up in their press. Bulldogs got right through that time. Ball is stolen away. They send it up the floor. Kendall shoots from the free throw line. No good. Just a sh little short there. Lady Bulldogs have decided that hurry up is the best way to try to attack that press. Shot was no good. Rebound by Klein. Passes it up to Hampton and she goes up the far side. Back to Cash, top of the key. She's gonna cheat left. Shady brings her back up top. Across the lane to Kendall. She's gonna drive down to our baseline. Ball a little bit loose there. I'm out called Coach Jones. 30 second timeout, and we'll be right back. Wouldn't it be great if you could carry your bank with you everywhere? With mobile banking and digital wallet from the Bank of Beaver City, you can conduct most daily transactions like paying bills and making transfers from an app on your mobile device. Use a digital wallet on your mobile device to pay without handling cash or a card. If you need to see us, of course, we're always here with fast, friendly service in person, offering a variety of accounts and services, complete with a smile and a handshake. The Bank of Beaver City and Beaver and Liberal, come join our banking family. All right, coming out of that duster timeout. We are still all knotted up at zero here, looking for first strike. 4.06 to play. Cash inbounds the ball, and they get it in the hands of Kendall Klein. Looking to get it back to Cash. I believe that will be a foul there, a little push on Cash. First foul of the game, first team foul. Dogs inbound at number two. She gets it back over on the far side. Two's got her back up top of the key, gonna drive right down to the block. Shot no good. It is blocked by Maddie Cash. Tipped out of bounds. 
Bulldogs inbound on the baseline, far side. Long pass over the top, 14. Two's going to get a hold of it, tries to drive in the lane. Hampton's able to bat that ball right over to Shaley. She's driving up the far side. All the way around baseline to the hole, backs up, shoots. Move 32, got a hand on it. Hampton's able to steal it away. Fine with the 12-footer, no good. Gets her own rebound, puts it back up, no good. Cash gets fouled on her attempt. She had to go to the line to shoot two. First foul on the Bulldogs, that was number two, gets credited with that one. Second one, shot is up and in. Dusters are now on the board. Second shot's away, just short off the front of the iron. 32 for the Bulldogs with the rebound. Dogs get it across. Now back in two's hands, top of the key. Swings it to 21 on the near side. She drives down to the baseline, kicks it back to number two. 32 shoots the three. It's off wide to the right. Rebound by Hampton. She advances it up the floor to Kendall. Klein puts it in for two. Oh, Hampton might be getting credited for a foul there. A little bit of a reach. Second team foul on the Dusters. Cash able to steal it away. They get the ball up to Hampton, right side, layup, no good. Too strong over the top. Battle for the rebound, out of bounds it goes. I believe I saw him signal blue. Touched it last. Substitutions for... Both teams, looks like. Over the top pass to 21. He's going to take it up the far side. Pretty close to a back court. Coach Jones uh, wanted some kind of call there. Nonetheless, that defensive pressure and the dogs lose it, throwing it out of bounds. Duster ball. They get it into the hands of Hampton, and she's going to work it right up the middle of the floor. Cheats to the right, goes to Stanley down in the corner. She's coming back up, and that ball is knocked out of bounds by number two of the Lady Dogs. Looking at 2-0-1 to play here in the first. The Lady Dusters are up 3-0 over the visiting Lady Bulldogs. Hampton inbounds the ball. The dog's got a hand on it. <coughs> Excuse me, folks. Oh, that was all kinds of close. And Shady Klein's able to put it in for two on the back end of that one. Bulldogs, timeout is called. Lady Dester's on a little bit of a rally here. I'm sure he wants to get his team back on the same page.
Stolen away there by Kendall Klein. Gets it back to Stanley. Now Shaley for three, off just a little bit short. Last touched by the Dusters, and it'll be Bulldog ball. Number two is gonna bring it across. Kendall Klein comes back. Looking to get it set up. Little hand off to Shaley there. Oh, dangerous territory for a walk and the dogs end up stealing it away. 14, too strong, no good. Second shot, too much on it as well. Dusters end up with the rebound. Hampton's bringing it across. They find Kendall Klein on the backside block, and she puts it in for two more. 50 seconds to go here. Nice little dish across the lane. Shot was no good. They'll get it way back out top of the key to 32, who hands it off to number two, drives into the lane, puts it up, no good. Not sure what that will get called there. They're going to call the push foul on number two, if I had read those hand signals correct. And I did. <clears throat> Looks like substitutions coming in for the Bulldogs, and they are appearing to stack into a press. Three-quarter court press coming for the Lady Bulldogs. Taylor checking into the game for the Dusters. Hampton, Taylor in the middle. She finds Stanley on the back side. Gets it back to Shaley Klein. She's going to drive baseline. Trying to work under the goal there. Covered up by those Bulldogs. Out of bounds it goes. Bulldogs get the ball. Inbound to 21, right back to 32. He's driving it up the far side of the floor. Looking to shoot. Klein said, Twister. <laughs> yep, they're twins, they're sisters, but the Kleins are all over that one. Shaley will inbound it here. Pass into Stanley, right back to Shaley. Now we got Hampton on the near side. We got it to Taylor in the middle. Just ran out of time to turn and shoot. That'll do it for the first quarter. Lady Dusters on top, 7-0. We'll be right back. Starting the second quarter, Bulldogs get the ball. Lined up near half court. They go to the back court with it. 23 to 32, she brings it on across. Picked up by Shaley Klein. 
turns, kicks it back out to 23, drives in the lane. That ball is zipped out of bounds by Shaley Klein. Bulldogs on the baseline, near side. 32 inbounds it, gets it to five. Covered up, ball stolen away by Matty Cash. Couldn't get in control of it quite quick enough and will get called for the carry. He was a hustling. Dog stacked on the near far side of the free throw line. Cash just about gets her another one. Ran out of real estate. Out of bounds she goes. <clears throat> Bulldogs got it in. 23. Kicks it back to number five. Covered up by Matty Cash. Kicks it down to 25. She finds 32 flashing across the lane, but Shaley steals it away. And kind of gets forced to dribble it out of bounds. So the Bulldogs will get the ball back. Stanley tips it into the backcourt. Can't get through the day. Through the Bulldogs to get a hold of it. Out of bounds it goes. Twenty-three inbounds it to thirty-two in the near forecourt. She gets it back to twenty-three. Kicks it across to number five on the far side. She's gonna drive down toward the baseline. Borderline carry, ball was above her shoulder, but 32 baseline side, put the shot up, no good. Battle for the rebound, tied up, jump ball. Possession, Lady Dusters. The inbound to Hampton, gets it right back to Klein, across the floor to Stanley. Klein on the other side, Klein in the middle. Shaley brings it on into the lane, pulls up from eight foot out, off the glass it goes, and in for two more. Two brings it hard and fast up the near side of the floor, and Hampton sneaks up on her and sends that ball out of bounds. No flags on the play. Thought she might get called for a reach there, but comes away clean. 32, long over the top pass to number two. Sends it down in the corner to 32. She cuts to the lane. I believe that's gonna be a block call on Kendall Klein. Thirty-two's free throw, no good. Wide to the left, did get a little friendly roll, but no can do. Second shot, we'll play it live off the release. There it goes, back of the rim, too much. She gets her own rebound, nice hustle there. Two crashes through the lane, too much on it. Long rebound, battle. Hampton flies in to tie it up. Jump ball. 
Kendall Klein initiated that pressure and Hampton pounced on it. Arrow does favor the Lady Dogs. Got a break. Still looking for an open lady. Just did the old lob bounce pass in there. Now it's in the hands of Kendall Klein. She finds Addison Stanley, who heads up to the left side of the floor. Pulls back, gets it to Shaley. Addison from the corner for three. Too much over the top. 14 from the Lady Dogs ends up with the rebound. She gets it to 32, and she zips it up the floor. 22, now it's back in her hands. 22 with the long two from the far side. Got a couple good bounces, and in it goes. Lady Dusters working that press breaker. Long pass up to Kendall. She'll get it gone across to Addison. Stanley to Klein. Klein goes right. Hampton with the screen. Klein down to the block. Drops it in for two. Three minutes to go here. Lady Dusters up 11-2. Hampton's able to tip it to Klein, and Shaley puts another one down for two. Timeout is called. Hooker. Taylor checking into the ball game for the Lady Dusters, and we'll be right back after this 30-second timeout. Lady Bulldogs trying to work it across. They get it to 14, and she's able to do so. 21 at the baseline, right back to 14. Shot no good. Taylor with the rebound. Looks like Cash is going to bring it across. Does get it across to Klein. Shaley works it back to Kendall. She does drive right. Now in Cash's hands, as she comes back around top of the key to Hampton. Cash drives on down to the baseline. Oh, yep, I thought so. 21, standing on the out-of-bounds marker there. Duster ball. Cash to inbound. Pass over the top to Kendall. Works it right back into Taylor. Turns, looks. Gets it to Kendall on the far side. Shoots from 12 foot out. No good. My goodness. Shaley was all wrapped up there. Is able to break away. Put it up and drop two in. Inbound to two. Works it up the floor to 22. Shaley got a hand on it. Oh, that is going to be a backcourt. 
think the girls thought 14 might have got a hand on it to tip it to make that acceptable. It appears not. Two was trying to get to the hole, and Hampton bats the ball away. That'll be Bulldog ball. 32 set to inbound on the near side. Works it in at number two. Shoots the 15 footer, no good. Rebound by Shaley Klein. Little pass over the top to Maddie Cash. She heads up the floor, gets it to Taylor. Nice shot from the block and drops it in for two. Two's bringing her across, gets it to 22, back to two now. She's driving the left side. Tried to uh, get it across the lane to 14 and hit a lady duster and out of bounds it goes. So 32 will inbound it from the near side yet again. Trying to work it into number two, and Hampton says, not today. Knocked it out of bounds. Interesting. 32's got it now, works to 21 on the near side, who tries to dribble on in. Picked up by Taylor, gets it out to Stanley. She's gonna send it up the floor to Shaley Klein. Nice attempt. She hit 25 in the leg and it ran right back into her leg before it went out of bounds. So her little plan backfired. 21 gets it to 32, back to 21 now, a little pass over the top to 22. She finds 21 on the near side. We got a little hot potato action there. Two's able to recover. She drives, puts it up, and it gets to go. Get it to Hampton on the near side. She drives to the middle. Tripped up as she goes, but that'll do it for the first half. Lady Duster's on top, 17-4. Headed to the locker room, and we'll be back for second half action here in a bit.
Wouldn't it be great if you could carry your bank with you everywhere? With mobile banking and digital wallet from the Bank of Beaver City, you can conduct most daily transactions like paying bills and making transfers from an app on your mobile device. Use a digital wallet on your mobile device to pay without handling cash or a card. If you need to see us, of course, we're always here with fast, friendly service in person, offering a variety of accounts and services, complete with a smile and a handshake. The Bank of Beaver City and Beaver and Liberal, come join our banking family. It's about time for the second half of the junior high girls game tonight. The Lady Bulldogs have come to town and the Lady Dusters have gained a slight advantage here as they are leading 17 to four. And they will get the ball to start things off here in the second half. Like Hampton will inbound the ball in the backcourt to Cash. <clears throat> they get it right on the cross. Now Klein's got it on the far side. Working back to Hampton on the near side. Should be a jump ball there. The ball went loose after it dribbled off of somebody's foot there. I didn't quite catch it. Two inbounds it for the Bulldogs. They'll get it right back to her. She brings it across, middle of the floor. Gets the 21 on the far side. That ball is tied up by Shaley Klein. Jump ball forced. Some confusion at the timetable. Oh, yep, 
32 come in a little hot there. We'll get called for a push. I think the Dusters will inbound it again. First foul of the half. First foul on 32. They get it to cash on the far side. Now working to Hampton over here. Back to 33 in the middle. Long over the top pass to Kendall Klein. To the baseline to Dabney, and now Cash short off the front of the rim. 14 winds up with it for the Lady Dogs. Gets it to 32, who's now dead in the water, but she hands it off to number two, and she gets it on across. The lane opened up, and she took it to the hole and scores two. 17-6. Two just about got it stolen away, but they were able to hang on just long enough to get the jump ball call. Still Lady Bulldog possession. But they're gonna have to earn that breakaway to the bucket. They get it to 21 on the near side of the floor, works it back, 32 for three. She gets it to go. Bulldogs are coming out spitting fire this second half. Klein gets to Klein, shot is up and in for two. Kendall with the assist, Shaley with the bucket. 19-9 is the score. The loose ball was tied up. Position arrow will stay with the Lady Dusters. Inbound to Shaley Klein. Back to 33. Cash has got it on the far side. She's going to drive it on across. Trying to get it to Hampton down on the backside block. Stolen away by the Lady Dogs. 32 brings it across for the Lady Bulldogs. Stolen away by number 33 for the Lady Dusters. Shaley. Charges hard to the bucket, puts another one in for two. They get it back to 32. Now number two, trying to get it across, stolen away. Cash was on an attempt for the layup, and 32 bats the ball out of bounds. No reach call, so the Lady Dusters will inbound it on a baseline far side. Over the top pass to 33. Kendall ends up with it, passes it to Klein, Shaley. Cash drives to the hole, shoots. No good, but she does draw the foul. Foul called on 25 of the Bulldogs. Her first, second team foul for the half. Cash first one off to the right. Second shot, drops it in. Puts the Dusters 22 to nine over the Lady Bulldogs. 32 gonna bring it up, gets it to number two. She goes back to the far side. Works it to 25. Back in 32's hands. Across the lane, 25. Now she gets it to 21, who shoots, no good. Line fights for that rebound. It gets tied up. Jump ball. 
The ball goes back to the Lady Dogs. Tries to go under the bucket and around. Unsuccessful. Ball winds up out of bounds. Lady Duster ball. Inbounded to Hampton, back to 33. Cash on the far side, works it up to Kendall. Right down that far side. Nice move by Hampton. Cash to inbound the ball here. Over the pass. Over the top to Kendall. Drives to the left, hands off to Hampton. Pass to Cash. Whew, that was a little bit rough. I guess so was that. They'll get the ball to 32 somehow. Kendall's gonna get called for that one. That is her second this evening. First team foul of the half to the Lady Dusters. Thirty-two with the long pass over the top, and nobody home. It's gonna be Lady Duster ball though. Because nobody touched it from the inbound throw to the out of bounds. Lady Duster's limb bounded there at the timetable. Oh, and then miscommunication there. Or Hampton didn't see it coming. Out of bounds it goes. That'll be Lady Bulldog ball. 2.15 left to go here in the third. They get it to two. She brings it across. Headed up the far side. Comes back to 32. Now two. Trying to break into that lane. Shot from 12 foot out, no good. 33 with the rebound for the Lady Dusters. They'll get it to Hampton. She brings it across. Now back to Shayla Klein. Hampton now, Klein. Kendall, 33, and the ball gets away from her. Looks to me like the Bulldogs would jump ball with each other. Lady Duster's able to step in and get a hold of it. Cash inbounds it, gets it to 33, drives baseline side, now back to Kendall. It's Hampton from the corner. No good. 14 for the Lady Bulldogs with the rebound. Oh, and in and out of the hands of 14 it goes, and that'll be Lady Duster ball. Minute 14 to go here in the third quarter. And we got Stanley and Taylor checking back into the ball game. Hampton bringing it across for the Lady Dusters. Drives to the left, gets it to Stanley, comes back up around top, works it back across to Hampton. <coughs> Line drives back towards baseline, covered up. That's gonna off to Kendall. Full timeout taken. We'll be right back.
Lady Duster's inbound the ball after the timeout. Works at Stanley in the corner. She does work it inside to Taylor. Shot was no good. She got her own reback twice. Kicks it out to Stanley. Stanley to Hampton. Shaley to Kendall, and it's stolen away by number two. Nice hustle by the Lady Dusters. 14 from the free throw line, no good. Kendall with the rebound. Gets it to Hampton, she's gonna bring it on up. Two's able to steal it away, five seconds to go. Hampton showing her breakaway speed. Hooker fans are not happy. They think she fouled her on the shot. I did not have the angle. I cannot comment. And that'll do it for the third quarter. We'll be right back. Bulldog ball to start things off here in the fourth quarter. Looks like two's gonna drive to the hole. Shots over the top. Out of bounds off the hands of Taylor. Two for the long two, no good. 14 with the rebound, put back, no good. 32 got the rebound, put back, no good. And Shaley will wind up with the rebound that brings it back toward the duster goal. Over top pass to Taylor, no good. Out of bounds it goes. Lady Dusters will inbound it here. <clears throat> Over the top pass to Taylor, again, no good. Two comes away with it for the Lady Dogs, and she's pushing it up the floor. <laughs> Substitutes coming in for the Lady Dusters. Thirty-two inbounds are for the dogs. It's twenty-two way back near half court line. Now it's in the hands of two. 
She drives back around top of the key, hands it off to 21. Nuggets to 32 on the far side. She drove baseline, kicked it right back out to number two. She's going to drive baseline. Get it to 14 in the lane. No good. Shaley with the rebound. She works it up the far side, advances it to 33, has a baseline shot. They say tip, not foul. Cash gets it into Klein, almost gets it to go. Two comes down to the rebound, and Shaley's there to tie it up. Jump ball, possession will stay with the Lady Dusters. And Klein gets it to 33. That's intended for Shaley. Wound up in Kendall's hand. She works to 33. 14 stole it away. And now two's got it for the Lady Bulldogs. Long pass down to 21. She gets to 32. Hand off to 14. She got it to two. 32, three. Off the glass and in it goes. 22-12, 3.45 to play right here in the fourth quarter. Two stole it away, takes it to the hole. Underneath she goes. Pass to Kendall. She was kind of out of position. Ball ends up out of bounds. And Bulldogs will have it at the timeline. Thirty-two met by Hampton and Midcourt. She goes in and gets it to twenty-one. Whoop. Might have got away with a the walk there, but she goes to the hole regardless and drops it in for two. Fifteen works it up to Hampton. Now Kendall back to Hampton. Back to Kendall. <laughs> Shaley now shot from the free throw line. Drops it in for two. Thirty-two's got it, works it to 21 on the near side. She goes across the floor to 25, 14, drives the baseline, drops it in. Timeout is called Hooker. Lady Duster still lead, 24-16. We got 2.40 to play, and Hooker wants a timeout. Wouldn't it be great if you could carry your bank with you everywhere? 
With mobile banking and digital wallet from the Bank of Beaver City, you can conduct most daily transactions like paying bills and making transfers from an app on your mobile device. Use a digital wallet on your mobile device to pay without handling cash or a card. If you need to see us, of course, we're always here with fast, friendly service in person, offering a variety of accounts and services, complete with a smile and a handshake. Lady Dusters get it in to Shaley. She gets it across midcourt, works it to 33 on the far side, turns, shoots, and gets a friendly roll. 26-16, Lady Dusters up 10. 32 bringing it across, works it to 21 on the far side. She sends it up the floor to 25. Shaley read that pass like a buck and stole it right out of the air. Works it to Cash. Cash for the long two, foot was on the line. We'll take it. They inbounded to 20 to two, works to 14 in the middle. Back to two, top of the key. She drives right, kicks it to 32, drives free throw line, shot off to the left. The official said it was tipped. Out of bounds it goes, that'll be Lady Bulldog ball. Thirty-two, long over the top pass to twenty-one. She gets it to two. Back down to thirty-two for the three in the corner. No good. Rebound, Kendall Klein. She gets it to Cash. Brings it on across midcourt. Comes to Stanley on the near side. Back to Cash. Shaley on the far side. Back to Cash. Klein. Working it around, letting some time burn off the clock. In and out of the hands of Stanley there. That'll be a turnover. Ball goes to the Lady Bulldogs. Get it into two, hand it off to 32. Looks like she's going to bring it on across. 33 steals it away as they try to pass it down low to 14. 32 got a hand on that one. Number two and Cash tie that dude up. Jump ball. 57 seconds to play here, and that is Bulldog ball. Lady Duster's up 12. Worked the ball to two. She advances it up the floor to 14. And she gets it to 32, top of the key, 21, far side corner, no good. 33 with the long rebound. She gets it to Cash, gets it across midcourt. And I would say, oh, the pass is stolen away by number two of the Lady Bulldogs. Shot, no good, but a foul is called on Cash. That's her third this evening. Thirty-one three to play here. First shot. Long to the right off the back of the iron. No good. Second shot coming up next. It's away, off to the right again. Shaley with the rebound. Works it up to Kendall, goes across to Cash, finds 33 down the court, shot from the block. Is blocked, number 14 of the Bulldogs. But that means that Cash will inbound it on the baseline, far side. Short pass to Klein, gets it back out to Cash in the corner. She gets that one to go. 31-16, we're looking at 10 seconds to go. Thirty-two with the long three, and it's off. Time will expire, and that'll do it. Lady Nestor is going to go ahead and win that one. 31-16. 
And valiant effort by the Lady Dusters there. Great hustle by both teams. Glad we go home with the W. Give us 10 minutes. The boys game will be junior high action coming up next.
ladies and gentlemen, sports fans of all ages, here we are, game four, Monday night, January 2nd. The Dusters are defending home court against the Bulldogs. I thought the Dusters won the tip, but that was an interesting turn of events, and now we're on the Bulldog end of the floor. They work it inside at 35. Now 24, top of the key, swings it over the near side. Five, back down to three. Now 24, top of the key, looks to 35 of the baseline. 24 for three, no good. Long rebound winds up in the hands of number three. Number five on the far side, shot no good. Rebound bobbled by Chockley, ends up in the hands of the Bulldogs. Wild pass, ends up in Keibel's hands. 23 is bringing it across. Battle for the ball there. 24 takes it to the hole. Brown with a rebound. Twenty three gets back over to Brown on the far side. He tries to come back top of the key, drives the free throw line, finds Chocolate down low. Ball gets away from him. That'll be a blue ball down on the far side on the baseline. Twenty-four gets it to three. Near side wing, five, top of the key. Twenty-four on the other side. We're going to need a thirty-five in the lane. Over the top, too strong, no good. Well, the official dropped the whistle and couldn't get it blown. Get it to Geibel baseline, puts it up, no good. Chocolate with the rebound, put back, no good. Twenty up with the shot, gets the friendly roll, in it goes. Brown, they're working it back and forth. Gets back to 23. Turns. Brown. Kybel. They're working on that offense to get something rolling here. Working in the lane. 23 takes the baseline. Kicks it back out to Brown. Top of the key. Glasses go sailing. Chocolate at the free throw line. 24 is hounding him for that ball. We'll give Kerr the timeout. Wouldn't it be great if you could carry your bank with you everywhere? With mobile banking and digital wallet from the Bank of Beaver City, you can conduct most daily transactions like paying bills and making transfers from an app on your mobile device. Use a digital wallet on your mobile device to pay without handling cash or a card. If you need to see us, of course, we're always here with fast, friendly service in person, offering a variety of accounts and services, complete with a smile and a handshake. The Bank of Beaver City and Beaver and Liberal, come join our banking family. Twenty-four bringing the ball up after the timeout. Working it inside to thirty, kicks it across to twenty-four on the near side wing. And now another skip pass across the floor to number five, back to three, top of the key. 
Ball is tipped, nearly stolen away by the Dusters. Three gets it back to five on the far side. 35 in the corner, drives baseline, works it to number three. 30 goes up, too far under, no good. 24's got it now. Tries a little lob pass into 35, and he zips it down and low and out of bounds. Twenty-three brings it across, gets it to Brown. Brown comes to around. Gets it to Kybel. He's going to drive around, headed to baseline. Twenty-four hooked him from behind. Not quite sure how it wasn't a foul, but unless I saw the whole thing. They get it into Chalkley. He finds Brown up the far side wing. No block shot, rebound by number five, and he is headed across the floor, up and in for two. Investors taking their time, bringing it across. Working to Kyle, he drives back around, finds 12 to 15. No, oh, nobody home. That's going to end up in five's hands. It looks like he's taking it in for the layup. Timeout is called. We'll be right back. Long pass over the top, intercepted, but then we get it right back as Chocolate takes it to the hall. Can't get it to go, but he draws the foul. Foul's on 35 of the Bulldogs. Gets the friendly roll, gets it to go. Substitute coming in for the Bulldogs. Chocolate lining up for a second. Playing it off the release. Too much on it. Last touch by number 30 of the blue team. That'll be Duster Ball. Lob pass over the top to Brown. He gets 23, top of the key. Screen and roll by Chalkley. Can't get it to go. Dusters fight for the rebound. They get it back. Three points. Drain, number 23. Four to six. Now the score. Dusters trailing by two. 35 seconds to go here, 24, sends it to the left. They're working at 30 down on the baseline. Shots up, wide right, no good. Rebound 23 of the Dusters. 20 seconds, he's bringing it across half court. Works to Brown in the corner. Brown travels toward the lane, kicks it back to 23, drives baseline. Oh, nice little dish pass there. We're all tied up at six. Four seconds here. And there's the launch. No good. That ends the first quarter of play. 
This game has come back dead even, 6-6. Six, six. We'll be right back. Dusters get the ball to start the second quarter. Brown is deadlocked down low. Gets it to Chalkley. Across the lane, across the court to Kybel. Gets it back to 23. Swings it to Brown. 12 down low. Turn, shoots, short, no good. <laughs> They have a little conference there between the officials. Inbound to Chalkley, puts it down for two. Dusters, first lead of the game, 8-6. 24 brings it across for the Bulldogs. Gets it to double zero on the far side. 35 baseline in the corner. Works it to 24, back to 30 down low. Dusters got a hand on that pass, and Brown comes away with it. 23 is going to bring it up the far side. Trying to work it down low. 35 got his hand in the mix, and that is Bulldog ball. Taking their time, bringing it across as 24 comes top of the key, gets it to 35 at the free throw line, tries to work it to 30 down low. Ball is tipped and stolen away by the Dusters. Now working to Kybel, the far side wing. He's going to bring it back around top of the key. Finds Brown on the near side. 23. He drives in the lane. Kicks it to 12. Back out. Shoots the three from the corner. Is short. Rebound by 24 of the Bulldogs. He takes it to the hole, and he's going to get the foul to boot. Kybel inbounds it there, gets it to 23. He's going to bring it on across the far side. Cuts back to the middle, across the floor to Brown. Back to 23. Bout lost control of it. Working it inside of Chalkley. It's kicked back out. Brown does the recover. Now 12, top of the key. Ho! 24 goes to slapping and sliding through there. Chocolate shots no good. Kaiba with the rebound. Bulldogs are able to steal it away.
Ball goes to the floor. Tied up. Jump ball. Thirty-five shot, no good. Rebound by number thirty. Tries to power dribble, it got away from him, but he's able to get it back. I think we're definitely gonna get a reach call there. The Bulldogs will have it down underneath the goal. Twenty-four from the corner for three, knocks it down. Bulldogs back up by four. Oh, muffed pass. Five's layup is good. Inbound to Kybel, right back to twenty-three. Finds Brown on the far side, works it to twelve. Drives the baseline, shoots, no good. Thirty-five with the rebound. He's pushing it up the floor. Oh, one too many steps, and he got away with it. Bulldogs with the rebound. 35 to the hole. No good. He'll go to the line to shoot two. Shot is up, back of the rim, no good. Second shot, this one live off the release. Shots away, no good. Chocolate with a big board. Tana works it up the far side, got it to Brown, and gets it right back to him. Drives into the lanes, too strong over the top. Casey turns, shoots, scores. The Bulldogs taking their time, working it across the floor. Five to 35. Try to dribble up, step, shoot, rocks it down. Timeout call, Coach McDonald. Got to get these boys back on track. We'll be right back. Quintana's going to inbound it there under the goal. Bulldogs in a full court press here. Works it into Brown on the far side. Right back to Quintana. He's going to drive it right up the middle of the floor. Now he comes back out. Looking to set that offense. Brown drives in. Shoots. Oh, too much. No good. 
24 able to save it. Gets into the hands of 35, brings her all the way up the floor. Seems like. Casey tried to steal it away. Must have at least got him distracted. Chalkley ends up with the rebound, and Quintana's going to bring it up the floor. 35 does steal it away. Ford got it on the near side. Looks like he's going to take it back top of the key. Send it to five on the far side wing. Works it to 35 down on the baseline. Skip pass over to 24. Puts it in for three more. Back to Quintana to bring it up across the floor. Now Brown, Quintana. Baseline turns, no shot. Kicks it back out to Brown. Back to Quintana. A lob pass into Chocolate. He's at the free throw line. Going to hand it off to Casey, who takes it to the hole, shoots, and drops it in for two. Four brings it over for the Bulldogs. They get it to number three in the corner. Number 30 down on the baseline. He turns, shoots. No good. Quintana with the rebound. That'll do it for the first half. And we'll be back for second half action here in six minutes.
Wouldn't it be great if you could carry your bank with you everywhere? With mobile banking and digital wallet from the Bank of Beaver City, you can conduct most daily transactions like paying bills and making transfers from an app on your mobile device. Use a digital wallet on your mobile device to pay without handling cash or a card. If you need to see us, of course, we're always here with fast, friendly service in person, offering a variety of accounts and services, complete with a smile and a handshake. The Bank of Beaver City and Beaver and Liberal, come join our banking family. Second half, the Dusters will get to start with the ball. Now we're getting to Quinton in the backcourt. He brings it on across. Works to Chalkley at the free throw line. Oh! Pass intended for Brown. Bounced off a couple of Bulldogs. So Quinton will be inbounding the ball. Baseline, far side. Long, long pass back over the top to Brown. Back to Kybel. Quintana now, top of the key, standing out there on the beaver tail. Works to the chocolate. Looks, gets it to Casey. The ball is stolen away by number 24. Oh, got away with it over the back, maybe. Quintana looks at Casey down on the other end. Cannot convert. 35 with the rebound, sends it up to 24. Quintana's got it. Comes across midcourt, five, steals it away. 24, gets it to go, and Quintana bumps him, so that's gonna be a foul. 24 will be going to the line to shoot, and one. Gets it to go. Quintana goes to inbound. It gets it to Kyable right back to Quintana. He goes up the near side. All the way to the baseline. Shoots from about 12. Knocks it down.
Duster's now down 10. Three on the near side, works it to the five up top. Swing it to 24 on the far side. Five for three, wide and right. 30 end up with a rebound. Katana's trying to get it back. That's going to be a foul on Chalkley. Church chair upset about something. Thirty-five's first one was no go. Let's see if he can recalibrate and knock it down the second one. And he does. Got the friendly roll there. Inbound to Kybel. Gets it to Quintana. Drives on down with the block, puts it up, no good. Rebound by 35 of the Bulldogs. 24 was hanging back. They got him the ball and he converts it for two. Timeout is called Coach McDonald. He won't be back. Looks like Quintana be inbounding the ball down there under the bucket. Gets it into Kybel. Turns, looks, works it up to Chalkley on the near side. Trying to direct some traffic there. Mills rushes in. Bulldogs get the ball, they inbound it to 24. He comes up, finds five on the near side. Looks <coughs> <coughs> like Mills sends her out of bounds. 24 gets it inbounded to him. Goes up and over. Standing on the line. That'll be Duster Ball. Gonna bring it up. Oh, pass is just a little bit too high for Chalkley's reach. Missed opportunity there. Number three takes the long shot. No good. Rebound, Chalkley. Quintana bringing it across now. Finds Kybel, comes back up top of the key to Casey. Working it inside to Chalkley. Draws the foul, he'll go to the line to shoot two.
first one bounces around and out. Second one gets the roll. Tried to work it inside the 35 in the middle and Jockley said, not on my watch. Goes to the hole, switches sides and puts it in for two. Duster's back within 10. They get it to number five on the near side. Works it to 35 in the corner, he likes that three. Wide to the right, no good. They go to the floor for the ball. Rolling around on poor Quintana's arm. Thirty-five gets it up and over, gets his own rebound. The putback is good. Cobble to Brown. They get it to Casey. He's gonna work it up that far side. Gets it to Brown now, top of the key. Swing it Cobble down in the corner. He comes back out, top of the key. There's Brown. There's Chockley. Back to Casey. Goes to the hole. Draws the foul. Got Kawami there. Shot is in. Knocks the second one down as well. Twenty four bringing it across for the Bulldogs. Double zero on the near side. Working inside to 35, goes to the hole, loses his dribble, out of bounds it goes, Duster ball. Not sure what happened there. Brown's working it down the far side. Gets it to Casey now in the corner. Oh, Kybel misjudged that one. Got away from him, 24 to the hole. Can't get it to go. They didn't call a foul on Kybel? Not sure how that happened.
Geibel inbounded it from the corner. It goes over the top to Brown. Brown does get a hold of it. Look, McDonald gets quick with a timeout there before it gets away from him. Double zero just took it to the hall and scored. <clears throat> they inbounded to Brown. Back to Quintana. The official wasn't sure on the call, so he goes with jump ball. It's a safe bet there. One official overruled the jump ball, so it is duster ball. Inbounded Chockley, 30 seconds to go. We better move. Chockley decides to dribble. Long pass to Casey. It is knocked out of bounds by number 35. Inbound of Chocolate, puts it up, gets his own rebound, putback is good. 15 seconds to go here. Oh, Chocolate tried to steal it away. Got lucky that one wasn't a foul. I think the foul ends up getting called on Casey. Nope, they do a look to give it to Chalkley. Draws the foul there. Thirty-five. Miss that first one. The second shot is good to go. I think I saw him do that at least one other time this evening. Skyball turns, goes for Quintana. Ball gets away from him. 35 with a long three, and it's no good. All right, fourth quarter, dogs get the ball to start it.
In, in the lane of 35, he pulls up, shoots, and scores. Oh, a little trickery there. Quintana gets it to Kaibel. Back to Quintana, now looking for Chockley. Cross court to Casey, and the pass gets away from him. Dang it. Chockley for two and converts. 35 gets it to 24. I would imagine they will take their sweet time to get it across. Works to five on the left. Back up to double zero. Gets it to 24 on the far side wing. Working it into 35, now 30 down low, does not convert. Double zero ends up with a long rebound. 35 gets that one, his putback is good. <clears throat> Quintana works it up to Chockley. Tries to get it to Casey and it's stolen away by number 35 of the Bulldogs. Kicks it back out, 24 is gonna shoot the three, no good. Short off the front of the rim. 35 with a rebound, put back is no good. It is bounced around like crazy. Ends up on the floor, tied up for a jump ball. That jump ball, possession will go to the Dusters. They're working it out around the perimeter, try to work it inside to Chockley. That ball is knocked out of bounds by number 30 of the Bulldogs, I do believe. They're calling it a tip, that's what I saw. Kybel inbounds it to Quintana. Quintana studying that defense, goes to Casey on the far side. 35's feet get out from under him. Casey goes to the hole and puts that one in for two. Duster's down by 15, 3.15 to play. <clears throat> 35, puts it in. No, Kai Bloom bound to Quintana. Five got a hand on it. Quintana tried to take it back and out of bounds it went. So that'll be dog ball down there. Thirty-five charges to the hole. Shockley tried to get the charge call drawn, and they called neither charge nor block. You should at least have to have one or the other called there. And around it goes and in it falls. Kybel inbounds. Finds Sessions on the far side. Back to Quintana.
35 ends up with a loose ball. Up the floor to 30. Shoots off the back of the rim. No good. Sessions tried for that rebound, and it went too high. Chocolate's able to come in there and help tie it up. Looks like the ball game has been conceded. Uh, the B teams uh, hit the floor. Looks like Mills is going to bring it up the floor. Goes to Harris on the far side. The ball got away from him into the hands of 11 for the Bulldogs. Shots up and no good by 23, but he does get his own rebound. Mills comes away with a second rebound, and he is headed up the floor. Wild shot from the block, no good. Got a foul call, and um, two-something. Pulls up from the free throw line, no good. 44 winds up with that rebound for the Dogs. 14 for three, short. Oh, 11 does a wonderful job. Saves it right off of the dusters. And that is the Dogs get the ball back. Couple rebounds by the Bulldogs. They finally get it to go. Mills will bring it up the floor. Oh, well, pass back to himself off the poor guy's head. And now they're going to get him called for a walk. Well, I might walk too after I took it in the noggin. Get it to 11, heads up the far side, gets it to 14. 32, turn, shoot, that's 23, turn, shoots, no good. Mills with the rebound, he's headed up the floor. It's to 34 on the far side, now he's penetrating into the lane, kicks it out to Harris, turns and gets it back to him. Got a push call here. Some more substitutes for the Bulldogs. Push was on 23 of the Bulldogs. Lesher's are going to line up. Break. Danger close to midcourt, half court line. 15, breakaway, no good. 11 with the rebound. He is covered up by the Dusters. I think they called for a walk. Here comes Mills bringing it up the floor. 25 seconds to play here. <clears throat> Works at 24 on the far side. It's a break. You got to get it in. Five seconds is going to elapse. Drives for Harris. And 15 knocks it out. Templin set the inbound here. Goes with a long pass to Mills. Mills drives to the hole. Oh, 34 with the block. And I think he's going to get called for the foul as well. So Mills will be shooting two here. Yeah. 
First one. Off to the left, no good. Second shot. Oh, just off the front of the rim, rebounded by 14 of the Bulldogs. We are sub 10 seconds now, five, four, 11 with the shot, over the top, no good. Bulldogs with a rebound, put back no good. That'll do it for this one. Quite a night of ball games here. The Dusters finished two and two this evening. <clears throat> Boys played hard. They uh, found a match here in the Bulldogs. I believe we'll be traveling to Booker tomorrow night, so tune in, check us out, or follow us on down to Booker. Safe travels. Thanks for tuning in, and we will catch you around.